Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll demonstrate how to derive the reduction formula for tan to the power n of x with respect to x. So in this case, the first thing that you have to do is you want to express the, this, uh, the integrand here in terms of a product of some expression with a tan raised to a, a second power. So in this case of course it implies that we're going to have tan to the power n minus 2 and then of x of course then this is going to multiply tan squared of x dx. We're doing this so that we can take advantage of one thing. See, we know from the fact, from the identity that sine squared of x plus cos squared of x is equals to 1. We know to say from this expression, we end up with an identity for tan squared of x. And of course, that occurs when you divide through everything by cos squared. And this is going to end up with sec squared. So we end up with sec squared of x minus 1 here. So this is the identity that we're going to use. We're going to substitute this at this point where we have where we have tan squared there so that the integral of tan to the power n of x dx now becomes equal to the integral of tan to the power n minus 2 of x but now multiplying where we have tan squared there we're going to have sec squared of x minus 1 then with respect to x. When we reach this part, we're going to distribute the tan, the tan to the power uh, n minus 2 of x. We're going to distribute it inside. And what we're going to end up with is going to be the integral of, this is going to be tan to the power n minus 2 of x. And then sec squared here. Then minus tan to the power n minus 2 of x. And then the dx outside. So we'll distribute the dx and the integral so that now we're looking at the integral of tan n minus 2 of x and then we have the sec here as well dx then minus this becomes the integral of uh, tan n minus 2 of x dx so we have uh, reduced our expression into two integrals now what we're going to do here is we see this part here has been reduced already so we'll focus on that but want to now focus on this part here. We can integrate this. You can try to integrate this using by parts, but I think the easiest method here seems to be uh, using uh, u substitution because we know the derivative of tan is going to be uh, sec squared there. So how do we do that? Well, let's start with um, um, defining what u is. Of course, we define u to be tan, tan of x, so that when we differentiate u, we get differentiate u we get sec squared of x dx so in this case when we now use that in this expression we see that the integral of tan the integral of where there's tan i'm putting u so the integral of u to the power n minus 2 uh, with respect to, oh, of course this is i've just put u where there's tan there so the sec is to here of x the dx, when we make dx subject here, of course, you just have to divide both sides by sec squared. We see that this is going to be du over sec squared of x. The second, this is going to cancel so that this integral now reduces to just u, n minus 2, and then du, du, sorry, not dx. So, of course, the integral of this now is something that we can, that we can evaluate easily. So, of course, we just have to add 1 to the power there. It becomes n minus 1. So, this becomes u to the power n minus 1 over n minus 1. Of course, plus the constant of integration there. So, at this stage... Okay. So, at this stage, all we have to do now is to get this and take it back into the original integral. So our integral, remember, was the integral of tan to the power n of x with respect to x. So this is now, uh, the first part was this integral that we've just evaluated. So we've seen that this is just u to the power n minus 1 over n minus 1. Then minus the second part is this reduced version that we're not really going to change. So just going to copy this and bring it down here. And this is what we have here. So we now just bring back what u is. And remember u is tan x. So we're now looking at tan to the power n of x 
dx equals to tan n minus 1 of x over n minus 1 then minus the integral of tan n minus 2 of x dx so of course if this you can add a constant here as well but this becomes the reduction formula for tan n tan n of x with respect to x so this becomes the reduction formula now guys hope this was helpful we'll see you guys in the next tutorial